Hello, I'm JW, and in this video we're going to have a look at another testing device. Uh, it's this one, which has three uh, small indicator lamps on the front, and on the back it's just got a standard uh, three-pin plug, so you can just plug that into a socket. Now this is supposed to indicate uh, whether the thing is wired correctly or not, and uh, to a certain extent it does actually do that, but it does have a fair number of disadvantages, and there's certain types of faults which this thing simply can't detect. Right, now here is the uh, device, and it's a very simple thing. This is actually quite old, it's uh, about 20 years old. Just a normal three pin plug on the back here, with the three uh, terminals there just to plug directly into a socket. Small screw there to hold it together, and we've got a fuse in here, which uh, incorrectly is a 13 amp variety. And in theory that would pry out of there, but uh, whatever, it's jammed. On the front there we've just got uh, three, what well, are actually neon indicators here, which will light up orange. And uh, the idea is that when you plug this in, all three should light up, as it says here, that's correct. And then if you only get two or one illuminated, there's various combinations here for various different types of fault. And of course, if none of them work well, uh, obviously there's no power, or the fuse is gone, or uh, you forgot to turn on the switch. So while these things, of course, are better than nothing, they are extremely limited in the information they're actually going to give you. So uh, let's have a look inside anyway and see uh, how these things actually work. So here's the device, uh, just a single screw in the middle there, which is rather rusty, and uh, that thing will just come apart uh, extremely easily. Uh, top cover there, just uh, three transparent windows and a uh, fixing screw, nothing else in there. And then inside the device, uh, really nothing at all, just the three uh, small neon lamps there, and a few resistors, and then these are the uh, incoming terminals, line neutral and earth there. Those just go straight through in the corresponding pins on the back. So see if we can just undo the uh, pins there and take the thing apart. So let's just remove those uh, fixings there. And uh, the only thing we've got here at the bottom is the uh, fuse, of course, just the uh, back of the two terminals there. And of course there's the fuse in the corresponding other side over there. Uh, we may be able to just push that through, or maybe not. So we just pry the board out of there. Yeah, simply held in by the few terminals. So it should actually come out there where that piece is apparently jammed in, so it's not going to be very helpful. So inside there, just the three, uh, three posts on the back of the pins, and there's the fuse down in there, and there's a plastic uh, thing over the back, so it really pushes out, oh, it does come out, oh, there we go. Quite why this has a 13 amp fuse in is a mystery, there's no way this is going to need uh, anything like 13 amps, or even uh, 0.13 amps, so uh, there we go, ERL, whoever they may be. So as I say, all we've got here is uh, just say the three uh, neon indicators and a number of resistors there. So here's the actual back of the board, a single-sided uh, affair. Just got the earth at the top here, which comes down to the resistors on either side. The live pin there just goes via the fuse, and then of course comes back via the uh, trace there to the uh, resistors on this side, and also the three neon indicators, or one side of them. And then the neutral over here, again, just from the terminal there to uh, a couple of pads here with the resistors on that side. And you've got the other side of the indicators connected via the centre of the resistor arrangement here. So you've got a pair there and a pair above. So they just connect through to the uh, terminals of the neons at the top. And this one over here, again, is down to that one, again, via that side resistor. And... Uh, the resistors are only here for two purposes. Uh, the first purpose is, is current limiting. Uh, these neon indicators, when in the conductive or illuminated state, have a very low resistance, so just connected across the mains, they'll be pretty much instantly destroyed, so resistor there just to limit the amount of current that will flow through those. And the other to there essentially is a potential divider, so you can derive uh, various voltages from the three pins and these have also been values selected so that uh, 
when you've got the correct connections on those pins, all three of those will illuminate. And they say just drive voltages, so you've got a pair of resistors across the uh, combinations of pins, and it will also illuminate, uh, assuming the voltage in the centre point is what was needed. Now, just to uh, show how this thing is uh, supposed to work, so uh, just sockets here, and uh, when you plug in, as you see, what we're supposed to get is the three orange lights there, saying it's all correct and lovely, which in this case it is. But uh, unfortunately, uh, this thing only tells you that uh, allegedly the three terminals are connected, because it doesn't reveal if the uh, kind of condition of those connections, such as the earth impedance, for example. Although there's an earth, the uh, resistance or impedance could be far too high. Of course, this isn't going to tell you that. The main limitation as well is that this doesn't show if the uh, neutral and earth have been reversed, mainly because there's no way that such a device could actually detect this, so uh, obviously it's not included on the list and uh, it wasn't designed for that anyway, but uh, normally though it will uh, show the other faults uh, fairly reliably. Now I've just uh, unplugged this from the mains and plugged it into an isolating transformer, which obviously the uh, indicator here still illuminates, so still got power there, so uh, let's see what this thing tells us now. Well there we go, we've only got two lights on, which according to the legend here means there's no earth. Now of course that's not actually true because there isn't earth, it's just that the uh, line in neutral are no longer referenced to the earth, so although the earth exists, it's not the earth that uh, this device is looking for, so uh, somewhat unfair of course, but uh, nevertheless uh, if the earth was missing that is what you would expect to see. So that's the uh, plug-in uh, socket tester. So this is a fairly old one and it's uh, one of the most basic types available. It's literally just those three neon indicators in there. You can get other ones of these which plug in which are somewhat more sophisticated and uh, some include a sort of a little bar graph type thing with the LEDs on the front to give you some indication of the earth impedance. And there's others which have buzzers and things in as well. But uh, they all have a similar construction and even the more sophisticated ones are still quite limited in the information they're going to give you. So uh, better than nothing, but of course uh, not really a substitute for proper testing. And if you have an electrician come to your house and do some work and they use one of these to test what they've done, it's probably time to find a new electrician. Until next time, thanks for watching.